Now look at the distance. I'm in great distance to come back with me punches. When we're changing the angle with the opponent in front of us here, you know, it really confuses them and it really gets in your opponent's head. The momentum of my body weight shifting, whoom, really gets the power into that punch. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a pivot hook on a heavy bag. Yes, it's a very advanced move, but after watching this video, you're gonna get a great understanding of exactly how to do it, so the next time you're in the gym, you're gonna give it a go in there. And also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you me doing a style of a pivot hook in a fight that I'm sure will impress you. So if you wanna see me do this in an amateur boxing fight, hang around till the end. And guys, if you're new here, my name's Tony Jeffries, I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist, and on this YouTube channel, I give you lots of boxing education. So if you want to get better at boxing, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Okay, so the pivot hook. How do we do it? And why do we do it? I think that's the most important thing. Why would we do a pivot hook? Well, a pivot hook, we can use it for a few reasons. Number one is it's a great defensive move to get out the way of your opponent who's marching forward. Now let's just say this is the ropes here behind us. You know, to get off the ropes, I could sidestep and go along or I would do the faster thing, which is a pivot, which I'm gonna break that down for you in a second. Another reason why we do the pivot rather than just a sidestep is because we change the angle. When we're changing the angle with an opponent in front of us here, you know, it really confuses them and it really gets in your opponent's head. But we're not gonna do this with an opponent, like I said, we're gonna do it on a heavy bag. A great way to do it when you are fighting is when someone's coming on here. Like, if you visualize, you've got a little Mike Tyson who's kind of steaming forward like this, then we would throw that pivot hook, change the angle, and send him flying through there. So there's a couple of ways of doing the pivot hook, and you can kind of pivot both ways, but when you're pivoting to your right, if you're right-handed, it's pretty hard because you kind of come square on. I'm gonna talk about that in a sec. But the, the ways that I love to do it is I'm pivoting to my left. My back foot is gonna to move to my left, and I'm switching that stance. Now, when you are in your boxing stance, you always wanna have this line in between your feet here, right? So the line's in between my feet, as you can see there. When I pivot, that line stays in between my feet. I'm gonna show you from this angle. So the line's in between my feet here. I'm pivoting, the line's in between my feet here. A big common mistake that I see with people when they're trying to do this one, they'll pivot and the back foot will come too far around and they'll cross the legs and they'll be off balance and you'll look like an idiot. <laughs> and I don't want anyone who watches these videos to look like an idiot. So you'll not look like an idiot after watching this. So again, I'm here. Turning, I'm in that boxing stance position, perfect with this angle change. Now, one thing to think about when you do want to pivot this way is think about you have got a screw through your foot. Your foot is tied to the floor, just your toes. Toe can't move. People say you're squishing a bug or you're putting a cigarette out, what they used to tell me when I was a kid. You're putting a cigarette out like this. And that's kind of what you're doing. So you want to squish that bug, put that cigarette out and turn and change the angle, staying in the exact same boxing position as you did. So that's one way of doing it. I'm gonna show you on the heavy bag, bear with us. The other way of doing it is a sidestep and then pivot. Now this is a great way to, to do it, to get further out of distance. Now on the heavy bag, I'm gonna show you the first way. If I do it the first way, boom, I'm pivoting. I'm kind of still in distance, but the second way, if I step and pivot, now I'm further out of distance. So. That's the pivot. Now, how do we do the pivot hook and put the hook behind it? Well, what you're gonna do, the arm, as your foot starts moving, your arm starts moving. Your back foot hits the ground the same time as your front hand lands. So I'm here, boom, here. See, here, here. Now watch with a heavy bag, and this is how you practice on a heavy bag. When, while the heavy bag's there, although you can do it, it works. Again, I'm here. But what I like to do, which is more advanced, is have the heavy bag swinging. When the heavy bag's swinging, it's more realistic. And it doesn't have to be swinging really high and really fast. Just here, look, it's got that swing. Now I can time this pivot hook as it's coming. Bam! There, now I'm in my boxing stance here. I've changed the angle. Now because I'm swinging that back foot around, the momentum of my body weight shifting, whoom! really gets the power into that punch. Because it's hard to lead off with a power lead hook, but when you're whipping that back foot around, as the bag's coming on, bam, I think you can hear there, 
A lot of power was in that punch. So that's the first way of doing it. Letting this come, practicing, keeping the foot in the floor as it comes, boom. Now that's the first way. Now the second way of doing it, this is before I show you me doing it in a fight, and this is the way I do it in the fight, and the clip I'm about to show you after this, is stepping out. So it's coming in, I'm gonna show you the pivot first, I'm gonna step, pivot. Now look how much more distance I've got away from the bag. And if you visualize an opponent coming at you, you know, you've stepped, you've took your head off that center line, in case there's a punch coming at you, and then you're gonna whip in that pivot. So this is what it looks like on the heavy bag. It's swinging. As the heavy bag's coming, I want to step, pivot hook. Now look at the distance. I'm in great distance to come back with me punches. And a great combination to come back with after that step out pivot hook is a jab, jab two. Now you might be thinking, what? A pivot hook and coming back with a jab, jab two. But yes, you're in the perfect position to throw that double jab cross after you've done that pivot hook. And like I told you, it's advanced. It is advanced combination, you've got to practice it. So here it is, the bag is swinging. I want to step, pivot hook, bah, bah, bah. jab, jab two. I'm in that great position to throw that jab, jab two. As you can see there, the bag's swinging everywhere. I just let the bag swing while I'm practicing different techniques. You shouldn't be letting the bag swing around in the gym if you're boxing the bag and it's like this. I've done a video on how to control the bag. So if you're in the gym and the bag's swinging like that, you should watch the video below about controlling the bag. So now the clip of me doing this in a fight, but before I show you that clip, I just want to tell you about my sponsor for today's video, who's going to give you 15 days free trial of Alpha Brain, which is a supplement that helps support memory focus. You want to get it for 15 days for free. All you've got to do is click the link below and they're giving all my subscribers this for free. This is a supplement that's recommended by Joe Rogan, Ori Marcus, lots of different athletes athletes take Alpha Brain to keep their brain sharp. You can do it as well. Click the link below and get 15 days for free. Okay, so here it is. I'm in a fight right here. I'm fighting the military champion. Yes, this guy was the champion from the Navy, the Army, the Marines. This is the champion of them. This was for the England title. And if you see here, I step out and I throw that long pivot hook and that lands perfectly on his chin. And that was a great punch that I threw and I was really happy that I've got this footage to show you. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch this video next to help you get better at boxing. Click here and watch this video next.